This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It sure is great being here helping you with playing the guitar. This is lesson 14 in this mini course that's all about finger plucking these chords. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. In this lesson, we're going to be working index, middle, and ring together as a group against the thumb. So in the last lesson, we had the pinch incorporated into the pattern. In this lesson, it's going to be thumb against index, middle, and ring. So go ahead and get started on this pattern. The letter P, as we know, represents the thumb. And when we see that written above a value, we pluck the bass note of a chord. So it changes from strings four, five, and six, depending on what chord we are playing. And I've gone over that in all the previous lessons for the most part, so I'm not gonna go over it into detail here. But that thumb plucks the low bass note. For the A chords, it's the open fifth string. And for the E, or for the D chords, it's the open fourth string. And for the E chords, that's the open sixth string. Then we've got index, middle, and ring all written together. I, M, A. So I is for index, M for middle, and A for that ring finger. And those ones are going to happen all together over the rhythmic values that they're at. So we have thumb, and then index, middle, and ring happens twice. And then thumb, and then index, middle, and ring. Now, the rhythmic value is different than all eighth notes. So I started introducing a new rhythm in the last lesson that quarter note and then followed by eighth notes. In this one we have a quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note, quarter note. So it's going to sound like one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Kind of a fun pattern. Now I'm working it with E minor because you don't have to have that left hand on. I do that in all the lessons. It's an easy chord to learn these on. You can work on just the right hand. Remember, as we're working on this, to keep that natural arch in the wrist, don't let it collapse, so that the fingers can sweep through in that closing hand motion. So, get used to it, you can go a little bit faster. Okay, let's go ahead and practice this one with a chord progression. Now I've got the chord progression written up here on the board, but down in the description below, you can also download a free copy of the sheet music in PDF format. So there's a link for that. You can download that. That's what I recommend you do. So you have the whole song, but I do have the chord progression up here on the board. We've got A for a measure, D for two measures, A for two measures, E7 for two measures, and then A for a measure. Then we've got D for two measures, A for two measures, E7 for two measures, then A for a measure. And the last line's the same, D for two measures, A for two measures, E7 for two measures, and then A. So we're gonna plug this pattern in one time per measure. So it's gonna be like A, play through this a little bit slower than how I was just demonstrating it. One, two, ready, and A. Okay, let's try it a little bit faster. So one, two, and three. About two, ready, and.
Okay, now, I've got the melody written there on the sheet music, both in standard music notation and tablature. So I'm going to go ahead and play the melody. You can play right along with me. If you want to learn how to play melodies and you don't know how to read either one of those, there's books in the method book series that can help you. There's also quick answer videos that can get you started. But here, I'm going to not take the time to explain it. I'm just going to assume you know how to play it right along with me. And it's good to sing. This is how we learn this melody that we can sing. So I'll have, well, you wake up in the morning. Now, I've mentioned this in previous lessons too, but I'm going to alternate index and middle as my primary way of playing the melody on this one. But you can use your thumb. But you don't want to just use an index finger or a middle finger. You want to alternate those fingers. It doesn't matter what string we're on. Just alternate those fingers when playing melodies. So we're going to have... Three, four, one. When well, you wake up in the morning, hear the ding dong ring. Go marching to the table, see the same old thing. Nothing fork around the table, nothing in my pen. And if you say a thing about Okay, let's go ahead and put it together. We'll play those chords, sing that melody, put that tempo. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... Well, you wake up in the morning, hear the ding-dong ring. Go marching to the table, see the same old thing. I've been poking around the table, nothing in my Now that wraps us up for this lesson. In the next lesson, so in lesson 15, we're going to work in 4-4 time. We're going to work on patterns that have individual plucks by the fingers, one that might be sort of a finger twister, sort of work on that independence in our ability to pluck those fingers. It's also a great pattern that works for songs in 4-4 time. So it's going to be great. I hope you're having fun. We'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.